So I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get up the Euphoria season finale video today, but I'm so good to you guys that I'm gonna do it. So in this video, we're gonna break down the ending of Rue and discuss everything that happened in the finale. So stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is, typically I take topics from the YouTube community, but I also like breaking down topics from movies, TV shows, pop culture in general, try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And for those of you who don't know, I have an entire Euphoria playlist, and this is the first finale video that I'll be making. All right, so make sure that you're subscribed, make sure you check out the other videos because I've done some other episode breakdowns, character breakdowns and everything like that. Um, a lot of the videos I've done have been based on Rue, so that's why I'm focusing on her in this video. But anyways, let me know down in the comments if there's any other characters you want me to do. So I also covered the last season of 13 Reasons Why and I'm, and I'm excited for a season three. And what I did was I did each individual character and kind of explained their ending. So I'm starting out with Rue, but I also want to talk about Kat and Cassie, Nate, Jules, things like that. So if there's any characters you want me to break down, let me know down in the comments, all right? So anyways, let's talk about Rue in this finale. And for those of you who don't know, this is gonna be filled with spoilers, baby. All right, so yeah, um, the ending of the episode, we saw Rue relapse, all right? So again, I'm gonna be talking about the characters, but I really want you to just kind of look at your own lives as well, because I know so many people out there, either A, you're struggling with addiction, B, you're in recovery from addiction, or C, you know somebody who's struggling with addiction. So this show, Euphoria, did an excellent job. Like the writer and creator of this show, he battled his own addiction when he was around Rue's age. So this show did a phenomenal job depicting an addiction, right? Myself, I just celebrated seven years clean and sober and my drug of choice was actually the same as Rue, which is prescription opioids. So I can relate a lot to this. So not only have I been clean for seven years, but I also worked in a dual diagnosis drug and alcohol rehab center for over three years, all right? So I'm speaking from that experience and I hope some of this can help some of you viewers out there who are watching or maybe a loved one who you know who maybe watched the show or is just struggling with addiction. So the first thing, um, I let everybody know that I was going to be making my finale, my first finale video. And there's a conversation going on around, uh, like, did Rue overdose or did she die at the ending right there? And I'm just going to get that out of the way before I kind of break down her character. I don't think so. I, I don't even know if she overdosed, really. The way I interpreted the ending and her, you know, um, relapsing and then that whole, like, kind of uh, the music video that happened at the end, I just figured she got high and those are a lot of the emotions and everything like that that she was kind of explaining and she got messed up. But I guess it is possible because it's not something that I thought of. So first, here's the first thing let's talk about real quick. Being in recovery, I have seen so many people overdose and die from what did happen to Rue. And what that is, is having a, a period of clean time and then using, especially when it comes to opioids or benzodiazepines, like the real strong stuff that are depressants, all right? Like, when I was working in the treatment center, over those three years, I had over 70 people die, all right? Most of them were from overdoses, some were from health-related issues, some were from suicide, but most of the people who died from overdoses, it was from their first time using after treatment because what happens is your tolerance changes, all right? When you stay clean for a while, you can't use as much as you used to, but many people who relapse, they go back to using as much as they were before, and then that leads to an overdose and their, their body wasn't ready for it, all right? So this is something that we have to be very, very, very careful about. I cannot tell you how many people I saw die just from their first time using again, okay? So basically, I wanna talk about Rue and kind of what I feel led her to relapse, and this is after all of my experience and my own screw-ups, my own relapses and everything like that. So when looking at Rue, I'm gonna be talking about her, but again, I want you guys to learn from this. So the first thing is like, kudos to her for staying clean. Right, she stayed clean for three months. I think in the last episode, uh, they mentioned that she had been clean for three months, but she went to rehab six months ago. And obviously, what we saw in uh, the ep um, like the series was that you know she was using and she was lying about it, right? But that's a big deal. Like, 
I'm gonna be a little hard on Rue, <laughs> a fictional character, but anyways, just know this, as somebody who has relapsed many times, I tell everybody my secret to staying clean and sober is looking at everything that I refuse to do or everything that I was doing and do the opposite, all right? Like, in all honesty, Rue made every single mistake that an addict can make in early recovery and now she can learn from it. Okay, so I'm hoping that's what season two is all about. So the first one is she wasn't working a program, all right? Um, I'm glad that she came clean and honest in the 12 step meeting that she was going to um, because they say in recovery that our secrets keep us sick. So I'm glad that she stopped taking those dirty little chips and she actually got clean. And if any of you watched my previous videos, I was so excited when she started working with that dude Ali um, to be her sponsor. And I was hoping that that was gonna be like a main part of this show. I was actually surprised the season was only eight episodes. But anyways, she only met with that dude once, right? Or maybe twice. I think it was once though, when they met up for pancakes, right? Um, but they also talked another time about her relationship with Jules, which we'll talk about in a second. But anyways, many of us, when we first get sober, especially if we're, we get a sponsor, like we, we use our sponsor is kind of like this oh crap button, right? Like we only get in touch with them when we are just going nuts and it's like the last resort, right? But the purpose of a sponsor is to take us through the book, whether it's AA or NA or whatever your program is, and to take us through the steps. We need to figure out why we keep using, right? So like having a sponsor is one thing, but doing the work is something else. Like my sponsor, told me from day one, he was not gonna keep me sober. I can call him and complain and scream about my life and everything like that, but the solution was in those steps, all right? And anytime I came at him talking about my struggles and how people were driving me crazy, my baby mama drama or the people in my sober living, whatever, he would tell me, Chris, I guess you better work those steps then so you get a little bit of relief, right? And that's something that we didn't see Rue do at all in this um, season. And I'm hoping that's something that we see. So one of the things is, I'm surprised she didn't relapse sooner. Um, when we're in early recovery, and don't get me wrong, I made every mistake in the book too. When I first got clean, I just managed to not pick up a drink or a drug. But you saw that Rue, like, she put herself in some situations that wouldn't be recommended. For example, like the Halloween party right like when you're in early recovery um that's not a good idea it's not a good idea to go to parties it's not a good idea to go to the bar or anything like that um me i went to a bar in like my first three or four months sober but i managed to stay clean much like rue did but i put myself in a very bad situation and i was obsessing on it the whole time you know what i mean and when we put ourselves in those risky situations especially in our first year sober like the first year we are so vulnerable to relapse. So we need to do our best to try to avoid situations where we might drink or we might use, all right? The next big mistake that Rue made was getting into her relationship with Jules. I can do an entire other video about how messed up the relationship between Jules and Rue is. If you want me to do that, let me know in the comments down below. But it's highly recommended. Highly recommend, like, number one suggestion, don't drink or use, all right? Number two suggestion, do not get in a relationship your first year, right? So like we talked about, Ali was explaining to her why it's a bad idea to get in, your, get in a relationship your first year. See, in none of the literature, not in Alcoholics Anonymous or Narcotics Anonymous, it does not say not to date your first year, but there are many men and women who have enough experience to know why that's a bad idea. And what Ali was explaining to her is like, things change, right? And especially with people going off to college and things like that, and Rue being, you know, so young. Um, and like, you know, I, my addiction actually started from a high school breakup. You know what I mean? But a lot of times we don't listen to our sponsors. Us addicts and alcoholics, we're not too good at taking advice and suggestions. So Rue fell in deep for Jules, but in that finale, oh my God. So Jules hooked up with that other chick and then comes back and she tells Rue that she loves her and also loves this other girl. Like, this is something that Rue could not handle. And in an effort to kind of grasp onto that love that she had for Jules, let's run away. 
let's run away and get away from here, right? Which was a dumb decision, which Rue figured out when they got to the train station and she let Jules go. All right, because in early recovery, we, we make such dumb decisions and that's why we have a sponsor and that's why we have a support group. Like we learn in early recovery that whenever we're getting one of those crazy ideas that even might be a bad idea, we bounce it off somebody first, All right? Because us addicts and alcoholics, we have problems with emotional regulation. We got problems with impulse control. Our best thinking gets us into a lot of trouble. So what we saw in season one with Rue was a series of mistakes that she was making and probably the biggest one was not taking care of her mental health like they didn't really reference her ocd throughout the whole season until the final episode when her mom was speaking right but i mentioned it in like uh, a previous video that she was having when she was having her depression she wasn't taking care of her mental illness right so what happens and why many people relapse is it's a bunch of things that just start piling up and piling up and piling up and piling up and then the straw that broke the camel's back was the situation that she had with jewels all right and she was so sad she was so hurt, she was so confused, she was frustrated, and because she wasn't working a program, she had nothing to turn to except for the drugs, all right? Like you guys, I've been sober for seven years, and it hasn't been all unicorn and rainbows, all right? Like, things happen. Life slaps you in the face when you least expect it, but, when I talk about like working a program, whether it's the 12 steps or going to therapy or whatever it is, it's like building up this force field. So when life comes at you and stuff goes down, you're shielded from a relapse. Like no matter what happens in my life today, I have so many tools that I can pull from. What you witnessed in the ending of season one with Rue is she had absolutely no tools to fall back on. And because because she wasn't utilizing Ali as her sponsor, she didn't even call him before she picked up that next drug, all right? So like I said, this was a prime example of what not to do. So my hope, my wish for Rue or anybody who can relate to her experience is I would hope in season two, she's able to look at everything that she refused to do, right? Not utilizing Ali the way she should have, not working the steps, you know, putting herself in bad situations like relationships and going to parties and all those other things. Look at those things and do the opposite of it. One of the most difficult things that I've seen in my experience is for young people to recover because it's hard. Like that's the time when everybody's drinking and partying and stuff like that. But we need to realize addiction is a disease that some of us are just born with. You know what I mean? I've met people who got sober at 16 years old, some people even younger, because by that age, it already went out of control. You know what I mean? But anyways, let me know what your thoughts are on the finale, and if there's any other characters that you want me to break down, let me know down in the comments below, all right? and. Feel free to check out my website, therewiredsoul.com. Uh, I'm also an author. I write about mental health and other stuff like cancel culture on YouTube. So go check it out. I have um, my whole story about my addiction, my recovery, overcoming anxiety and depression. That's available on my website if you want to check that out, all right? And if you're into audiobooks, I got those too, baby. Okay? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing and if you would like to support what i'm doing here you can click or tap on that patreon icon right there and you get access to all sorts of cool stuff all right thanks again for watching i'll see you next time